been bush bashing off the ridge down from up there only a hundred meters or so <coughs> and I came out I could see this was a little clearing just up there and I came out right there through that hole and that hind was bedded right there and the fawn was bedded right there it would have been like 10 meters from it and it just sat there looking at me Just videoed that hind about a hundred meters that way. And I've kept sidling along and I just spooked another one. Just there, yeah, saw it run through that gap up there. But they're in the tight stuff. Big stag scrape from the rule. So I've just been walking pretty much back to the track to go home. It's windy as I've only spooked one deer all day. And I just got up to right here and looked through this gap. And there was an eight pointer straight through that gap. And I thought he was just standing there. So I mewed a couple times and shot at him. And I saw him run off. He looked almost like he stumbled the first couple steps but I don't think he has so I've waited a little while and then come over to him. You can hear it's windy as it's been windy all day so this fella mustn't have heard me but I've pretty much been crashing the last 20 minutes just to get back so I've come over to where he was and I've now realised he was bedded right there and I've made a cock up the bullet has gone in there and there it is there so he was bedded right there hasn't even made it to him so I'll go and have a look but I'm 90, 99% sure that it hasn't even well, it, I know it hasn't got to him. It's come in here, and I just dug it out from right there. Ah! So that's where he was bedded. I shot at him from up there. He was definitely an eight pointer, but he didn't look massive, so maybe it's lucky he got away. He can grow bigger. He would have been bedded right here. And the bullets only landed there. 
I didn't even know he was lying down, I thought he was standing. Young stag, someone's sure. Not no fool. Just shot that stag in the bush. Seven thirty. I've been sneaking up through this crap. But it's actually quite wet underfoot and it's been quite quiet. Sneaking up and I got to here and I started hearing noises out there but I wasn't sure it was deer and then I heard some noise that was definitely deer and I could see them way up, way up there. And the first one I saw I think was a hind, a hind or a knobby spiker. And then the next one I saw was a spiker with about 30 centimetres of uh, velvet. And then this last one, I was actually going to shoot the spiker up through the middle gap up there. And I gave him a whistle and he didn't stop and then I looked right here and there's this other deer right there and so after a minute or two they kept walking and all three of them the what I think was the hind and the spiker came here and they were coming real close I could have shot them but I knew that this one had a bit more velvet and he looked like a shitter the one side I saw was it almost looked like he just had brow and a beam so yeah I was holding out for him the other two were, I was hoping they wouldn't come too close and get onto me but this one I saw him through that gap right there and then he slowly come here just as he'd popped out and he was feeding and then he turned and started heading down and I put him shot him straight through the shoulder blades from right there I'd say it'd be 15 metres. Go have a look. When he was down, I thought he almost looked like he only had one antler. Maybe I shot it off. I didn't even try and chase those other ones. Probably could have chased after them. And had a shot because they would have been waiting for their mate. He's only got one antler. What's up with that? They were in some, they were in some nice open bush and I was down there. He was standing there when I shot him and he dropped dropped on the spot and then the two of them were up here and they just leaked it out there. 
If I was chasing them, I probably could have got a shot, I reckon. This pedicle's fully damaged. There's like a tiny bit of velvet there. But it's like it's fully snapped off. Oh, I can feel it's hard there. I don't know if the tops will be. Maybe they are. It's a pretty decent brow time. Not much else is decent. I guess he had all, all the velvet that was in that antler to grow out into this antler, so he's not a great trophy. I just hope he's old. But I'm happy that I shot him anyway because he wasn't gonna ever grow that antler again. And I shot him in the bush. Just pulled the jaw out and there's lots of wear so he's definitely not young. That tooth is pretty smooth. Back at camp with the me and head. Just 15 minutes ago I was sitting down there and I sat there for about 20 minutes waiting and just watching this quite decent gut that I've, we've seen lots of deer in before. After waiting I s snuck it along the air to a wallow that we've been to in the past and it had been used somewhat recently. And then I snuck uphill and started coming back. And I'd only, probably from where I was sitting, I'd only gone 100 metres along, 50 up, and then started coming back, and I spooked a stag just up there. That was bedded down, I found his bed and it was warm. And I probably only spooked him from like 10 metres, but I wasn't really stalking too quietly. He was in the crap. But where he was bedded from was only... 50 metres from where I've been sitting for 20 minutes so maybe if I made some noise he might have come for a look but I didn't look like he was still in velvet so definitely still in his summer coat he was very orange <laughs> 